Magnum Photos has opened its new gallery in the heart of Paris, in the district of Saint-Germain-des-Prés. It's an illustrious arts neighborhood, making it the perfect location for Magnum. The exhibition shows some 62 years of Magnum photography. For photographer Paolo Pellegrin, it's the perfect place to present his work to a wider audience. And to view the work of colleague Mark Power. Most Magnum photographers are represented by sort of outside galleries, so you know that that is also sort of um, a fact. So, um, but what is interesting about opening a gallery sort of is is to try and keep sort of um, um, you know the photographers sort of inside the agencies. Paolo Pellegrin rose to fame through his photographs of crisis-stricken regions. Today, he also takes celebrity portraits. An eight-time winner of the World Press Photo Award, he's long been able to market his work himself. Nevertheless, he joined Magnum in 2001. It's a community sort of, of, of ideals, it's a community of thought, sort of it's a, there is, you know, it, it's kind of, it's a privilege sort of really sort of to, to be part sort of, of, you know, of this tradition of, and of this legacy. That tradition began in 1947 when Henri Cartier-Bresson and Robert Kappa joined two other colleagues in setting up the Magnum Agency. Since then, it has shaped our view of the world. Among the world-famous works are this photo of Che Guevara and this gentle protest against the Vietnam War. Magnum photographers frequently put themselves in the right place at the right time, keeping the agency world-famous. Nevertheless, Magnum is anything but complacent. In Paris, Magnum director Julien Friedman ensures the work goes on. The agency currently has 58 members. Applicants often wait five years to be accepted. The photographers want to make sure that you bring some new content, a new vision. And you're not only a photographer of one subject, but a photographer who is able to fight and continue in his own way. So of course it's a little bit uh, difficult, but come on, you enter the world famous group of photographers. The agency receives some 300 applications a year. Despite the fact that these days anyone can post their work on the World Wide Web for free and without the help of an agency, Magnum's reacted to that trend and started digitizing its archive. And they're selling more photographs than ever before. Photography should not be something inaccessible, something where you have to pray before entering in the shop and you have to excuse yourself for asking questions about price or understanding how the work has been done. That's why the gallery has been kept simple and aimed at people who know nothing about photography. It's about time they open a gallery in, in the heart of Paris and uh, uh, it's very exciting I think for many people. The fact that you can buy them, even if they might be uh, not for the pocket of everybody, but it's, uh, it's a good idea. For the agency, it's an opportunity to gain new customers, and visiting the gallery is a good way to get a picture of what Magnum is all about. <laughs>